These are two things right now in the world which is taking almost ninety-five percent of human energy – money and sex. Everywhere you see, it's dripping with either money or sex. Every advertisement, every magazine, every book, is something right or wrong about it? Even ninety-five is a conservative estimate. Yes, <laughs> almost hundred percent. Guruji, this uh, question is something most of us uh, face in our day-to-day -day lives. It's about money and uh, why man is so enormously obsessed with money. <clears throat> is there something like a healthy attitude that one can develop towards money? Can you <laughs> say something about What's it? What's unhealthy about money? Money is just a means, isn't it? Man is not obsessed with money, man is obsessed with what money can buy, isn't it? It is the empowerment that the money brings, which people want. It's not the money that they want, the empowerment that the money gives you, isn't it? The excess and the freedom that it gives you with the physical world, it, which people want. So, money is not the thing. Money has a means, yes. So, is something wrong with money? What's wrong? We created it, isn't it? Otherwise, we could have still continued our transaction in barter system. Because our transactions got complicated, barter became too tricky. We created currency. Currency became too tricky, so we created a card. <laughs> So, it is just a means. Is something right or wrong about it? Nothing right or wrong about it. If money is in your pocket, it makes your life easy and comfortable. Because you have some money in your pocket, you're sitting here today thinking of inner development and things. If you were in the slum with no money in your pocket, today you wouldn't be sitting here doing Shambhavi Mahamutra. Isn't it? <laughs> you would be just struggling to keep that house going or building a boat to float inside your house. Something like that, isn't it? Because you got a little money in your pocket, today you can sit here no matter, it's raining, it's going to flood. If it floods, it's okay, we'll stay in the hotel. Because there's little money in your pocket, this much freedom, isn't it so? There's no money at all in your pocket, this wouldn't be possible. So nothing wrong with money. Money in your pocket is good. If it stays in the pocket, if it enters your head, it becomes a perversion. For most people it's entered their head and it's become a perversion. Keep the money in your pocket, makes life easy and good. You can sit and meditate. Yes? <laughs> if you have enough money that you don't have to work for your living tomorrow, you can just take off one month and just meditate, isn't it? Which the man who is struggling for money to, for tomorrow's food cannot do, even if he wishes to do. So money in the pocket is very good. Money in your head, that's a perversion which will destroy you. You must keep everything in its place. These are two things right now in the world which is taking almost ninety-five percent of human energy – money and sex. These two things are right now consuming almost ninety-five percent of human potential. Is it so? Even ninety-five is a conservative estimate. Yes, <laughs> almost hundred percent. As money is in your pocket is good and nice, similarly if sex is in your body, it is nice. But if it enters your head, it becomes a perversion. It's gotten into people's heads. It's not in their body, it's gotten into their heads. If it was in their body, it wouldn't be all the time. It would be only some time, isn't it? It's gotten into their heads and it's all the time. This is a disease. 
if you know how to keep money in your pocket and sex in your body then you would live your live your life well you got both these things into your head now you can't live well you live you live like a deceased person because it will rule you from inside and destroy you in many different ways everything beautiful about you will be taken away once money and sex enters your head isn't it right now do you see the whole world is painted either with money or sex at least the civilized part of the world hmm? isn't it so everywhere you see it's dripping with either money or sex just drive in bombay city and see every advertisement every magazine every book it's either dripping with money or sex isn't it so now these two things if they fall into their natural places where they should be they are not a problem they are fine they have their own beauty attached to it but if you exaggerate it in your mind then everything becomes ugly so money has become a problem because you don't know where to keep it keep it in your pocket it's a good thing if you're feeling stress tension anxiety you must know your own intelligence has turned against you if you understand all human experience is coming from within how can you not engineer yourself to perfection in engineering essentially means to bringing yourself to a state where all the faculties of being human works for you not against you